host Ricky Knows and this is an episode of Knows Cool Stuff and this is our camera comparison between the Oppo Find X3 and the Mi 11 Ultra or what I like to call it I'm gonna make you sit here and watch my slideshow video all right so let's get this down I did do video comparison on this uh, they're both able to do 4k video and the Mi 11 Ultra is able to do 8k video but I will put it on towards the end of the video because if you don't want to watch it, you can just skip it and stuff because let's face it, me personally, I don't shoot 4K video, okay? Uh, if I'm doing family stuff, I'm not just shooting 4K because A, uh, if you don't have a 4K TV, you can't watch it in 4K. If your phone does not produce 4K pictures, you're not watching 4K. And then 8K, well, nobody actually has 8K usually, so. Uh, I think it's more of a future proofing of your phone when you do 4K and 8K. Remember, when you do 8K, it, I did like what, a 20 second clip until it was like, I don't know, it was a half a gigabyte for it. So, all right, so we did the video comparison. Now, I can't produce it out as a 4K or 8K when I convert it because my editing system only can do 1080p. So, take it at a grain of salt when you watch it, okay? All right, so let's get straight into this slideshow now.
All right, so this is the Mi 11 Ultra at the ultra wide using video mode at 1080p at 30 frames per second. This is the main camera at 1080p at 30 frames. And this is the telephoto camera using video at 1080p at 30 frames. Alright, so now we're using 1080p at 30 frames. Uh, we're on the ultra wide. Now we're going to see how well it zooms while walking. Keep it pretty steady if you go slow enough. Some color shifting when you're switching between cameras. All right, there you go. So when you get about 15x, stabilization is not that great because you're using telephoto lens. All right, there you go. 1080p, 30 frames. All right, so this is the Mi 11 Ultra at 1080p at 60 frames. All right, so this is the main camera at 1080p, 60 frames. And this is the telephoto lens, 1080p, 60 frames. Not very stable. <laughs> Ultra wide and the main is pretty good on video. Telephoto, not so much. All right, so now we're going to do the test while we are moving. Test how it is if it goes between cameras. One X. Two X. All right, there you go. Zooming in while moving. All right, so this is the Mi 11 Ultra using 4K at 30 frames on the ultra wide. 4K 30 using the main camera. Now, 4K 30 using the telephoto at 5X. I don't know why you would do this, but I guess you can. <laughs> Alright, so the Mi 11 Ultra can also shoot 4K at 60 frames. Uh, this is the ultra wide at 60 frames at 4K. Main camera at 4K at 60 frames. Four K at 60 frames using the 5X. Telephoto. I have no idea why you would do this unless you're a stalker. Alright, so this is 4K at 30 frames, and we're gonna try the zoom between the lenses. There we go. And we're maxed out at 5, 15x. So you're maxed out at 15x with video. All right, so this is 4K at 60 frames. And we're trying to zoom between the lenses. And it looks like we're maxed out at 2x on 60 frames. Can't go any further. Alright guys, so this is nighttime video using 1080p at 30 frames. And we're going to just shoot this one only for night because this is the one that most people would use. The default mode of 1080p and 30 frames. Alright, this is nighttime. 
What do you think? All right, so this is the front-facing camera for the Mi 11 Ultra at 1080p at 30 frames. Now, it is capable of going from 1080p to 60 frames, which we're gonna switch to right. All right, this is the Mi 11 Ultra 1080p at 60 frames on the front-facing camera. Okay, see how it looks? Moving. Right, let me know down in the comments, what do you think? Alright, so this is the Oppo Find X3 at 1080p at 30 frames using the ultra wide camera. Alright, the main camera at 1080p at 30 frames on the Oppo Find X3. And now the telephoto lens at 1080p 30 frames. All right, now this is 1080p. Now we're gonna try to go between the lenses. Hit the zoom. 1x. Five x. All right, so this is the Oppo Find X3 at 1080p at 60 frames using the ultra wide all right using the main camera at 1080p at 60 frames all right so 1080p 60 frames using the telephoto lens Alright, so here is 1080p at 60 frames while we're moving between lenses. Alright, so this is the Oppo Find X3 at 4K at 30 frames using the ultra wide. 4K video using the main camera. at 30 frames now 4k video at 30 frames using 2x telephoto so you want to spy on people I guess I see you all right so this is the Oppo Find X at 4k at 60 frames uh, this is the max it could do is at 4k only no 8k video on the Oppo Find X3 Unlike the Mi 11 Ultra This is the ultra wide 4k 60 With the main camera Now 4K 60 using the telephoto at 2X. Okay. This is all while I am walking. Let me know down in the comment, what do you think about the 4K video on the Opal 5? All right, so this is the 4K at 30 frames. And uh, we're gonna try to slide between the camera tests. All right, let's go. How well it's smoothly. It's not the most smooth this one. And that's maxed out at 20x. Alright, so this is 4K at 60 frames. Uh, like I said, we're gonna try to go between oh wait. With the 4K at 60 frames, you cannot go between the lenses. It does not give you the option. Alright, this is the ultra wide. I cannot switch between it. Let's go to the main. All right, so if you're in the ultra wide, you cannot switch between lenses at 4K at 60 frames. Once you go to the main camera at 1X, you can 
switch between lens zooms, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. And you could be maxed out at 10x at 4K 60 frames per second. All right, let me know down in the comment. What do you think? All right, so this is the Oppo Find X3 1080p at 30 frames. Uh, shooting at night because I figured this is the one that most people will use the default mode. So This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when we're walking All right. and There you go 1080p 30 frames at night All right, so this is the Opal Find X3 front-facing camera at 1080p. I'm assuming only at 30 frames all right, this is the audio. This is what it looks like when you're moving. All right, there you go, front facing camera. All right, so there we have it. The camera comparison between the Mi 11 Ultra and the Oppo Find X3. Now, they're both capable of ultra wide, main and telephone. Um, Mi 11 Ultra is where the gimmick is the super moon and the Oppo Find X is the microscope camera. It's good. I actually like the microscope camera. Uh, it's very fascinating, especially if you're a teacher or something like that. And you show the kids, oh, look how close that is. It's, uh, the Super Moon's good too. So, all right, so which one did you thought took the better picture? Uh, I thought the Mi 11 Ultra took better portraits because sometimes, when, well, portrait using the main camera. Uh, probably with the Oppo Find X, and it's likely for the whole uh, Oppo line, I guess. When I take a selfie for the front facing camera, it tends to blow out the background a little bit. Um, but that can be corrected with software pro update probably. Um, but yeah, uh, for most part, um, night pictures, uh, the Mi 11 Ultra takes better night pictures when it's completely black. Right? The Oppo Find X does take good night pictures if it has some light to bring into the camera. Right? But when it's black, black, pitch black, yeah. It does not do well, but the Mi 11 Ultra is able to do it when it's completely pitch black and stuff. Uh, video, I think both of them did great on video and stuff, so uh, they both do smooth. The, now, the Mi 11 Ultra has a better toggle switch, I guess, when you're going from video from ultra wide to the zoom, while the Oppo Find X had like a little dial thing. It stuttered when you're trying to move it and stuff. But like I said, pictures, are subjective okay um you may like it I, you may not like it that's why i always say when you buy a phone you know shop around or look at a lot of youtubers and look at all their different pictures everybody takes a different type of picture and figure out what you think will be the best for you so i'm just showing it to you and you just make your own judgment okay uh, i'm not gonna say well the dynamic range of the photo would be no no it's subjective it's just like any pictures it's subjective to the person who's looking at it all right, so if you like this video, hit those like buttons, uh, hit that bell for notification for when I drop new videos, and hit that subscribe button to be part of No School Stuff family. Until next time, keep on clicking all those picture memories and be cool.